Hey guys, what's up? LegoDude77 here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to build a pencil case and then a coin case out of Legos. And it's actually very simple. Anyone can do it and it's just a fun little fan build type thing. So let's get started. I want to start with the pencil case first. So, so this is what it looks like. It's very simple. You might even be able to do it uh, just by looking at this. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, really. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll still show you how to do it. So let me take it apart. All right, so first you have this piece here. Again, I don't own my Lego pieces. Sorry about that, but um, it's kind of hard to remember all of them. But you take this piece, set it down there, okay? And what you're going to do is basically take any kind of pieces. You can do it with uh, these. You can do it with these little two, uh, two dot ones, anything like that. And just go around the whole rim of the, um, the square plate here. You're basically just building a box. Well, like a small box, just um, a slimmer, I guess you could say that. So you just build all the way around just like that. So just like that. And then you want to take that. And some pieces you might have to rearrange, but um, you should just be able to build it around like that. Just all the way around. And you'll do this about, mm, I don't know, a couple of times, I don't, four or five times, I think. So, you'll have, we're working on our second layer right now, so, once you get that, that done, you will have your, have to start on your third layer. So, there's that one, okay, so there's our second. Now, start on the third. Just like that. And if you want, you can be creative and do one single color. Uh, I just did it with multiple colors just because it, I, I, personally, I think it's cool like that. But you really don't have to do it the same way as I do. Be creative. Just do it your own way. That's what Legos is about. So, Alright, so there's our third layer. Now we start working on our fourth. Actually, it might be more than uh, four or five layers, actually. Uh, another thing, see how this kind of, oh, you can't see that. Ah, whoops, I broke it. Uh, if some pieces are wobbly and can move like that, you might want to try to overlap them like that to try to make sure they're stable and don't come apart. So, just a cool little technique there. But you're just going to keep going around and around until you're done. And you can make it as tall as you want. Um, if you want to like put very big markers in there or something, you can make it as tall as you want or as wide as you want. It really does not matter. So, um, let's see. Okay, I'll just take this piece off because uh, I didn't have any one by one blocks or whatever you call them. So, uh, we are working on our next layer. Okay, get that done. So, keep doing that. again so you might have to take a piece off like that and then put another one in there to fill up the spot just like that all right um we are now on our sixth layer actually so we'll just keep going around again and 
And since pencils are kind of tall, you probably want to try to make this tall to uh, fit all those pencils in in this case. So, yep. Okay. Um, there's that layer, and I think there's one more layer, and then we're done. So just keep going around. Around and around. <laughs> That's all you do. That's all you do. There's no skill to it what whatsoever. You're just going around in a circle. Or actually in square. Oops. Actually in square. Um now guys, I do want to apologize uh for uh not putting a video up for a long time actually. Um, I've just had a lot of school and a lot of stuff going on, so, um, sorry for that, but I will be getting back to it. And also, um, I have created a, another channel, a gaming channel, to, uh, be precise, and that one, oh, whoops, that one you can go check out in the description if you want to. Uh, it's just starting out, so there's like only one video on there. But feel free to go and watch that video and tell me what you think about it. What can I change? What can I add to it? So, I'm going to be doing that channel and this channel and try to keep up with both of them. So, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy this video and hope you guys, if you go check that video out, that you like that one just as much. So, this is our very last layer and our very last pieces. So, there you go. It is completely done, and there's your perfect pencil case or pen case. And you can put any kind of pens in there, anything, the uh, big, huge pens, anything like that. And it'll just fit them all in there. And it fits some markers too, so. But anyhow, there's the pencil case. So, moving on, we're going to work on our coin, um, coin box here. And this one, too, is really simple. Uh, you can do it. Uh, it's really easy. It doesn't require any special pieces except uh, maybe these uh, flat, slim pieces here. But other than that, it shouldn't be that hard. So let me take this one apart. This one too, you're basically going all the way around. Same as the pencil case, pretty much. So, alright, so here's this piece. You want to take that piece. And right off the bat, you can go ahead and put these on the bottom, just like that. And these will hold it, um, it kind of gives, it actually kind of gives it, gives it a, um, like little, uh, stand to it. Little cross. Just like that. It's just a uh, kind of cool effect, and you can you can do multiple ones to make it stand up taller, anything like that. So what should I be doing? And actually, I am going to put all these pieces up here so that you guys can actually see it. Because the other one we did not, uh, you guys didn't see me tear it apart, and it's still not kind of point apart here but we'll just leave it like that but what you want to do is just take any piece any piece doesn't matter and just go around just like the pencil case just like this and both of these are really good for um, back to school well you're probably already in school but they're great little um, things to hold your stuff in or just to uh, just to do whatever you want in it. I mean, put anything in there. Doesn't matter. So there's our first layer. Okay. There's our second. And again, you want to try to overlap 
FM so it doesn't come apart. That's the one major thing, uh, or major rule actually, of Legos. Um, is to try to overlap other pieces so that way it doesn't fall apart on you. Which is a big, uh, big issue. So, we're going to keep going around. Keep going around. Okay, so there's a second layer. Now for our third. And you can do it in any order. If you notice I'm skipping uh, some pieces or going over some pieces, that's okay. Um, I come back to them, but uh, it doesn't really matter. You're just going around in a square. So keep going all the way around. Again, you can make this as big or as wide as you want, and you can make it any color too. Does not matter. So, so if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, comment down below something. Um, comment your creation or an idea or something you want me to build. Think of something you want me to build personally. Um, and I'll try to build it. Um, depends on what pieces I have in my collection, but it should be that hard. Hopefully. Depends on what pieces I have. Alright, so that's done. Now what you're going to do is take these little pieces here, and they're the little, eh, little ones that can um, actually move just like that. Okay, you can see that. Yeah. Just like that. Okay? And you wanna take that and I wanna actually turn it around so you guys can see it. You wanna put it on either side, it does not matter. Just like that. And you wanna use three of them. You wanna put two on the sides and then one in the middle and then there'll be three dots in between here. So that's how you remember that. Now, actually since this is still together, take that apart. Okay, so you wanna take these. If you have long one, um, a long one, that would be best for this, but you're just gonna stick it on just like that. Okay, and same with this one. And tilt it up like that, just like that. And then you wanna put more blocks on it, just like that. This side up, all the way across. Now this will um, actually uh, stick out a little bit, but it still covers the inside of the case. Um, so just throwing that out there um, in case you guys realize it doesn't cover the whole thing. It's totally okay. So you want to do three layers of these up here. Okay. Now actually, I'm going to take this one, move it to the middle because that's kind of wobbly. Okay, and then what you want to do is take these right here and put two there, or four. I mean, you can do the little four block here. Okay. 
Okay, click that there. Do that one there. Do that one there. Okay. Okay. And then like this one has that. You want to put one on the other side just like that. Okay. Now this might be a little tricky. Um, take this apart. If you guys have this, uh, have the these pieces actually these pieces. Um, you will need those for this, um, and you're just want to take this piece, put it like that, and then you want to take, or I can get this apart. Okay, take this part, put that one there, put this one here. This one, yeah, will it work? And put that one there, right there, just like that. And then you want to take these pieces here and put them there, there, and there. Okay, and make sure they're all tight. And there you go. You have your little coin uh, box, and it closes and opens perfectly. And then you can just take your change, your loose change here, and just dump it right in there. And it fits nicely. So anyhow, um, that's our build, our pencil case here, and our little uh, coin box. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And please make sure to like this video, subscribe, uh, comment your ideas down below. And other than that, I will see you guys all next time.